The 4K handheld camcorder AGCX350 and hardware operation panel AKHRP250 is a good combination for remote production. In this video, I will show you how to configure the system. First, we'll set up the CX350. Open the menu, network, device select, device cell, and select LAN. Then, under IP Remote, select Enable Hold. Go to User Account. Set your account name, for example, CX350. Then set the password, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight. Later in this video, this information will be registered to the HRP250. Then set the IP address of the camera. Go to LAN property, IPv4 setting, then IP address. For example, 192.168.0.35. Subnet mask, 255.255.255.0 Default Gateway 192.168.0.254 When you close the menu, you should be able to see the wired LAN icon in the top right corner of the screen. Next, let's set up the HRP250. For step 1, you must format an SD card. Insert the SD card into the card slot. Push Shift and then Save. Rotate the Select knob to SFO8 SD Card Format 8. Push the knob to select it, then rotate and push the knob to select Y for Yes. Wait for a while and when Fin Finished shows up, the format is completed. Push Save to exit the menu. In step 2, we will save data to the SD card. Push Shift, then Save, rotate the knob to CO6 Connection 6, push the knob to select it, then rotate and push the knob to select Y. Then again, wait for Fin to appear, push Save to exit the menu. One more data needs to be saved. Rotate the knob to ROP7 Remote Operation Panel 7. Push the knob to select it, then rotate and push the knob to select Y. Then one more time, wait for Fin to show up, remove the SD card, and insert it into your PC. Next, we need to download the HRP250 setup software. We'll download it from the Panasonic website. Search for Panasonic Pass. Go to Software Download and scroll down the page. Then download the latest version of the HRP250 ROP setup software. The latest version during the making of this video is 2.0.0.0. Unzip the downloaded file, then you have the HRP250 setup software. Next, we will create the configuration data using HRP250 setup software. Open the setup software. First, create data for the HRP250. Select the configuration tab. This IP address is for the HRP250. Change it if necessary. Select preview port for tally control, then click save. The important point here is to overwrite the config.r25 file. Next, we will create data for the CX350. Select the User Auth tab. Select the camera number to which you're going to assign the CX350. For example, C01 for camera 1. Input the new username and password for the CX350, which we set in the beginning of this video. At the beginning, we set the username to CX350 and the password was 1234567878.
Click Save. Again, the important point is to overwrite the current file, in this case, network.s25. Remove the SD card from your PC and insert it into the HRP250. Next, load the configuration data you created into the HRP250. First load the ROP data. Push Shift, then Load, and rotate the knob to ROP7. As before, push the knob, and then Y for Yes the HRP250 will automatically reboot. Then load the CX350 user count data. Push Shift, then Load, and rotate the knob to C06. Again, push the knob, then Yes. The HRP250 will reboot again. Remove the SD card from HRP250. Once more, create the CX350 IP address data. Insert the SD card into your PC and select the camera list tab in the HRP250 setup software. Select Network AG for control type and input the IP address that we set for the CX350. At the beginning of this video, we set it to 192.168.0.35. Then set the camera port number to 49154. Click Save and overwrite the network.s25 file. Remove the SD card from your PC and again insert it into the HRP250. Load the CX350 IP address data to the HRP250. Press Shift, then Load. Rotate the knob to C06. Once more, push the knob, then Yes. The HRP250 will reboot once again. The HRP250 will turn on showing several LED lights. This means that the HRP250 is successfully communicating with the CX350. Once the connection is established, you can see the letter R on the wired LAN icon. Before operating the CX350 from the HRP250, iris calibration is necessary. Push Shift, then Remote Operation Control Panel Information, ROPINF. Rotate the knob to iris F. Push the knob and top, TOP, will show on the iris panel. Move the joystick to the top. In addition, fully open the CX350 iris. Then push the knob on the HRP250. Rotate the knob so BOT bottom shows up. Move the joystick to the bottom. In addition, fully close the CX350 iris. Again, push the knob on the HRP250. With this, the calibration is complete. Now when you move the joystick, the CX350 iris moves in collaboration.